So what do you say? You ready to do this one, guys? It's gonna be brutal. Good morning, everyone. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. I say that because we've got a full compound workout coming at you. Compound workout, multi-muscle, multi-joint, so a lot of bang for your buck and a lot going on. But here's the fun part. <laughs> Did I say it was gonna be fun? Uh, this is a no-repeat workout. So you're only gonna do each exercise once, but I got you doing them for 60 seconds, okay? We, we need to put some time under tension on these muscles here. I'll give you 15 seconds to transition to the next exercise. Okay, I'll try to tell you what's coming up as we're moving into it, what weights to grab, what weights I'm using so you can see, but you can also jump below before the workout starts, take a look at the whole list and get your own weights prepared. I'm gonna do a short warm up, but if you're ready to go and you wanna get started, jump to the number at the bottom of the screen, I'll see you over there. And don't forget if you love compound workouts, click the card at the top of the screen, that's my full playlist. There's lots and lots to choose from. All right, let's do this, let's move daily. Let's start with some side to side lunges here. Let's just get that inner thigh warmed up. I'm gonna come all the way down, flex my heels, stretch it through my hamstring a bit there and my calf. Uh, did I tell you the format is, yeah I did, okay, a minute. So again, if it's a um, single sided exercise, we'll do 30 seconds per side, uh, but I want you to you know, listen to me, <laughs> listen to me. When I tell you what exercise is coming up, okay, right here, hold your hands on your feet, stretch with the hamstrings right here, and kind of mentally think what weight you're gonna grab because you wanna be able to get the full one minute worth of work in, okay? Since we're not repeating any exercises, you gotta, you gotta kick it while you can, <laughs> so to speak, right? Not really, but sort of. All right, two more here. Good. Oh, that feels like a burn, but it feels amazing. Big shoulder up here. All right, let's punch side to side. Give me some taps here. We'll just get our blood flowing a little bit. And stretch the arms. Since multi-muscle, multi-joint, there's a lot of lower body. Why else doing upper body? Reach up overhead here. Okay, so. Legs and shoulders, legs and thighs, legs and tries. Um, it took me like probably half an hour to write this workout actually. It's hard to find that many exercises to be honest. All right, take it to a tap with some shoulder circles. Um, Cause I wanted like, you know, one that was upper body, lower body, arm combo, but no repeats right back to back. So anyway, I hope you like it. Switch directions here. I hope I like it. <laughs> I don't know yet because I haven't done it. But we'll see shortly, won't we? Remember when you said you liked it when I talked? <laughs> I remember. And here we are. All right, last four. Three, two, and one. Uh, down to a squat. We're going to come up, do a little high knee right there. Get nice and low though. This doesn't have to be fast. Remember, we're just warming up. A glued action here. Getting the heart rate up a bit. All right, four more here. And up, take it wide, super wide. And let's touch that toe, oh yeah. I'm loving this stretch warm up right here, this exercise. Feels so good. I think all my clients are getting it every day too, so I do this multiple times a day. I think it's good for my hamster though. All right, let's go for five, and four, three, two, and one. Come down one more here, just side to side. Okay, oh yeah. Hold that on each side just for a few seconds to get that muscle all lengthened. Good, one more each side. Feel that right there, switch sides. All right, are you ready to get started? Kinda, sorta. Grab your variety of dumbbells, your water or BCAs, and let's move it.
We're gonna start with the front lunge, bicep curl, squat combo. We're gonna stay on one side for the full 30 seconds, then I'll call it halfway. So, start with the front lunge with your right leg ready. Let's go. So front lunge, bicep curl here, squat right there. Front lunge, curl, squat. Stay tall on this guy, squat. All right, you're switching lunge feet, lunge with the left here. Lunge, curl, squat. Double clean and press is next. I'm gonna grab lighter weights. So it's like I'm gonna work both hands at the same time. Okay, nice. Dropping those 15s, grabbing my eights. Double clean and press. Wider sumo stance. It's a low squat flip. Overhead press. Roll the shoulders back and drop. Flip, tummy tight on that press. Low and press, that's it. You can swing it at the bottom, that's fine. Like a little dumbbell swing or feel free just to place it down, press up. I'm gonna swing. Great job, you're halfway, keep it up. seconds. Doing good. That's a good way to stay in warm up mode here. I'll be kicking it up pretty soon. Last one here. Nice. Okay, moving to wide and narrow bench over rows. I'm going to go up to my 15s on this. So hinged at the waist. I'm going to go narrow, turn it wide, okay? I'm going to probably stand up halfway to stretch my back. And narrow. Turn wide. Retract the shoulder blades at the top right there. Really think about those back muscles. Pulling the weight up without bobbing your body. Here's halfway, here's my little stretch. And back down. Little stationary lunge. Arnold press coming up. I'll lighten my weight. Squeeze, come on, up. Last there, nice. Woo, that's good. Okay, I'm lightning. I think I'm gonna go to the fives because that's a long time. I'll call halfway way on the legs. Right here, low and Arnold. Stationary, low lunge here. Just your Arnold press. Drop that back knee nice and low, come on. I wanna see 90 degrees on that front leg. 90 on the back. Don't look at the camera, <laughs> to be canoe. Don't look. Okay, switch legs. Here we go. And up. Heading down for a decent front press. I'm gonna be using my fives for that. Oh, 
Okay, good. Take it down to the ground. Shake it out for a second. You sit position. You can have your legs off the ground, feet off the ground, or on. You're here. Okay? Here we go. Lean back. Press. So I slightly lean back when I extend my arms. Even five pounds is too heavy for me. Wowza. Press for set. Go. Okay. You can keep the action. Eliminate the hands for a second. Keep the break. Nice flat back. Stick your chest out. Come on. Just 20 seconds left. Woo! Good burn, baby. Wow, so much shoulders. Almost there. Come on, don't stop now. Three, two. Oh, Nelly Olson, that was hard. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 15 side lunge to a flip and press. Same side for 30 seconds. So you're gonna be low here, turn it and press it, watch your face. So low, press, good. That last one was so brutal on the shoulders, holy. That's good though, I was only holding five pounds. Reach your hips back on that lunge. Super low. Last one on this side. Switch sides. This is easier with a kettlebell, but it works. Make sure you have a good grip. Squat, front raise to halo. I'm gonna be holding this 15. Good. So, wow. Feet will be shoulder width. Front raise there, stand. Halo there, shoulders back. Squat and front raise at the same time. Halo and squat, reverse directions. Halo. This title, Squat Halo, makes me think of Scott Bayo <laughs> from uh, Happy Days. I don't know why. Inchworm push up is next. Last here. Ooh, yeah, baby. Okay. That's hard. Shake it. Okay, start with the inchworm. Push up can be done from the knees if you need. Get ready. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. Stand all the way. Here's your mod from the knees. Then back to plank. Walk it all the way. close to the ground as you can.
side shoulder press. Both are up, single and center. Okay, then alternating. I'm grabbing my eights. Both up, single and center. Good. Single, well, front. And here. One of the subscribers said that when I was doing that silent videos, she said her little son said, why isn't she talking this time? <laughs> That's funny. Whew, good. And halfway. You need to bring your arms down for a break. Feel free. Just don't arch your back. That's work, isn't it? What's next here? Bent over row to bat wing extension coming up. I'm gonna stick with my eights. Almost there, come on, push. Last here, boom and boom. Holy, wow is that? Okay, so I'm gonna bend over, row up, kick out and down. Try not to shrug, okay? I'll try my eights, I might have to switch. I don't know, we'll see. Up, kick, and down. I hope this is good. Try to get your arms all the way out to store it totally, completely straight. So deadlift, bicep curl, shoulder presses next. I'll be grabbing my 15s for that. Good, almost there. I like this one. You really gotta flex those triceps though. It's gonna help us get rid of those bat wings. Building muscle there. Nice. Okay, wow that. Deadlift, bicep curl, overhead extension. Roll your shoulders back, reach your hips back. Reach, stand, curl press. Reach and curl press. It's heavy on the press for me. Good though. I'm gonna grab my fives next. You're doing a two pulse plie squat to four front punches, okay? Okay, so lighter weights. So nice and wide, toes are out. Knees track over the toes. It's low, low, one, two, three, four. Ready? And low, low, one, two, three, four. Pulse, pulse, one, two, three, four. Pulse, pulse, good. Anyone else's legs burning? Name of the game, sister. Isometric contractions help build muscle so well. I don't want to hold it the whole time, but I'm gonna. This is only 15 seconds left. And in my mind, anyone can do anything for, now it's 10. If I had a baby for six hours, I can hold a position oh, for 15 seconds. Or 
Where can I? Okay, Russian twist press. I'm gonna keep my five. Side press. Side, sorry, top press. Okay, lean back. Here we go. Feet off the floor or modify with them on the floor. We're gonna lean back. Bring that elbow all the way back down. I touch the ground with my dumbbell, just gently. And let my hand touch. Crunch those obliques. Staying down here for another ab. You got that side plank leg crawl, okay? Coming up.
and join me back. Starting back with a bear crawl up down plank. So get into bear crawl position, hovering over the ground. You're gonna do an up down plank, walk to the side, up down plank, walk back, okay? Yeah! <laughs> or no. Here we go. Up, up, down, down, hovering. Bear crawl sideways. I'm gonna do three steps and then up, down with my knees bent. Okay, I'm hovering the whole time. Someone commented the other day that I do too much shoulder training. <laughs> I, I can see what, why she said that. Whew. Ooh, this is quads too though, isn't it? And core. Stay low. Oh, quad. Skiers are next, I'm gonna grab my 15s for that. Little cardio core move. Oh. Okay, so grabbing your weights, you're gonna be hips back like a power um, deadlift and pop your hips forward to swing the dumbbell. Here we go. Be shoulder width apart and pop. My dumbbell doesn't go past 90 degrees there and it's Straight arms, completely a hip hinge move here. Oh wow, this is hard with 15s. What did you guys grab? Halfway only. Yikes. This is where a ponytail holiday would have come in handy. Don't lose your form. Hip. Pop. Woo! Almost there. Okay, that's it. Wowza. Not easy. Okay, moving into a seated row. Bicep curl, upright row combo. Sit, wide stance, hope you're not sweating there. <laughs> Forward leaning, upright row, biceps, okay? Up, turn, curl. I'm forward leaning with a super flat back here. That was hard, those skiers. A lot of hamstring, a lot of glute. Okay. Weighted squat jumps are next. I was gonna pick my 15s. I think I'll stick with my eights, to be honest. Almost there. Wow, poor glutes right now are on fire. Boom. Up. All right, weighted squat jumps. <sighs> oh, a city of Kelowna truck just pulled up. I bet they're gonna blast out the uh, fire hydrant. We have one on our property. Here we go. Low, up. But I have my windows closed today so they won't hear me talking. <laughs> Whenever I do a workout and the windows are open and people are walking by, they always stop to, they think I'm talking to them. Nope. Walk on, buddy. Wow, my glutes are on fire right now. I'm just gonna go into a squat. Keep hopping if you can. Not stop, no. Oh, 
No more for me, that's it. Okay, moving into a same side up down plank. So get into plank position, knees or toes, only one arm is working, up till halfway. So you're down and down. Other arm sort of does a push up. Again, here's your mod from the knees. One more on this side, and switch. See how much this arm is bending? Like a push up. Oh, this is hard. A little sit up, sprinter sit up next though. Sit up, shake your arms up because we got push up, gorilla push up coming up. Next, okay, everything is down, up to one knee. Alternate here and here. Feel free to crunch to modify this, okay? One minute. Woo! It's a good time on abs. Especially if you're used to 30 seconds, right? Okay. <laughs> I could have done one more, but then gorilla push up. You do the push up. Okay, so you do the push up, come up, hit your chest. It's like a gorilla like that, right? Needs to modify. I'm gonna start there, I think. Chest fly bicycle is next. I'm gonna grab my 15s for that. Oh boy, that is some sort of work. Okay, while you chest fly, Bicycle, but if you feel like your back's arching, eliminate the bicycle. Rounded arms, so you're open, close. Open, close. Push your back into the ground. Wow, please tell 
stomach, it's over. There it is. There it is, okay. One more break. Join me back as soon as you got your water. We don't want to miss this last little bit. Let's start with a leg one here. You're gonna go a front lunge, up, back lunge, kick. Front lunge up, back lunge, kick, okay? Same side for 30 seconds. Here we go. So, front lunge, low, up, kick, up, kick. Hang on to something if you feel tippy. Burner. One more here. Switch legs. High, low lateral raises next. I'm gonna grab my fives for that. Control here. All right, up, up, and slow. Here, salute so position and down. Good. I was going to grab my eights. I'm glad I didn't. 60 seconds a long time here. And shoulders are feeling it already. Stick your chest out. Tricep chest press with the glute bridges next. I'm heading down to the ground with my 15s. Last here. Okay, good. Let's get down here. Oh, okay. Nice. Palms facing each other. So chest press up, hips go up, hips go down each time. Press and down. Focusing on triceps here, so put your mind in the tricep muscle. Arms should be sweeping your body. Almost 
there. And time, good. Okay, moving into the weighted partial Turkish getup. I know you guys don't like the Turkish getup, most of you don't anyway. You're just doing a partial. Hand up, leg is bent, you're coming up to here only. Okay, let's go. So I'm holding the weight in my right hand, left knee is bent. Pushing up, sitting back down. Lying back down, rather. Eliminate the weight if you need to. Switch sides. Left hand, right knee is up. Let's go up, up. more seconds here. Definitely work. Don't have to go fast though. We're standing for a split squat. Come on up. Okay. Wowza. I'm gonna get my light weights. Split squat front raise. Take a second if you're dizzy. Back foot is up on a bench or couch. We're gonna go down here. Front raise there. Low and pop. about the shoulders was not lying. <laughs> Holy! Switch sides. That's the problem with compound though. It's like up, oh, up and down at the same time, so you get both. What choice do you have? You can break longer in between. Go slower like I am now. Or the fighter. here. Oh, thank God that's over. Moving into a goblet squat side lunge. Okay, it's gonna hold a weight, squat, then side lunge I'll call halfway. Low, reach, same side. Low, This side. Switch. Butterfly sit up is next. Full out, full sit up, crunch if you can't manage this one. Here we go. A little single leg glute thrust off a couch, bench, or chair, or on the floor is next. I'm gonna have a dumbbell and hold it in one hand, just elevate it in an iso hold. Then we'll switch halfway, okay? <clears throat> Good job. 15 seconds here.
Okay, grab your weight. Quickly get into position. I've got the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna be glute thrusting on my left leg. Hold it up. Here we go. And low, up. hands but not above your face and work other leg a good one Okay, moving into a blast off knee tuck. So plank position, you're gonna come back, bring it into a plank, bring the knee in. Okay, here we go. So you're sitting back, plank knee in. Sit back, switch legs. super wide up by the shoulders squat down press wide ready let's work low and press all right you've got two more exercises left after that that is it then we're done okay it's literally less than three minutes of work you can do it almost there it's been hard for me too but whoa we always feel so good when it's done don't we for sure. In my group, our uh, Mindful Summer Challenge group, I just shared my wellness book list. It's actually listed in the description below under my Amazon links and you can take a look there if you're interested in picking a book up this summer that's going to help lead you down the path to better health, okay? Take a look. There's everything from, you know, some growing your self-awareness, -aware emotional intelligence, mindfulness to my picks on healthy eating as well nutrition books which focus around awareness and not specific diet okay all right down on the ground bear position jack donkey kick combo so you're hovering over the ground you jack and bear kick kick okay <laughs> let's go jack kick Kick, stay hovered over the ground. You can modify by stepping side, side, up, up with no hop, okay? Really hover those knees over the ground here. We're gonna finish off with some X position abs as our final exercise. Whoa, this is hard. Poor shoulders. Oh, 
Wow. Ugh. I'm tired. Okay. Arms are wide, legs are wide. Bring your upper body up slightly ahead of the lower body. Ready? Here we go. Everything is up and down. Up. Crunch to modify here. You can hold your legs at 90 degrees. Hands behind your head and crunch it up. This is a great final blast though. Join me for a few if you can. Boom. Okay, it's going well. <laughs> you got 20 seconds left. Daily Fitness over on Instagram. All right, I'll see you guys in the next workout. Enjoy me for a stretch. Whoa, that was awesome. Let's just start with a little um, hamstring stretch here. Come down. And while we're in this position, can I just say, you, you guys are amazing. I love when you comment. Makes my day reading it. And you know I comment back. As long as I see it, I comment back. Sometimes if you reply a second time to something, I don't see it. So make sure you check YouTube because I'll have commented on your comment and then we can become friends. <laughs> like I have with Christine and Julie and Jill and Karen and Anna and Amy and Persa and Jennifer and Coralie and Lenula and Lauren and Linda and Chrissy and Michelle and Monica and Rhonda and Kia and Linda and the rest of you. We're all best friends, aren't we? I know it, Dolly. You and me are friends for sure. Um, so thank you. There's so many more that I didn't mention. Those are just the ones that I saw in one video. So the rest of you, I love your comments. I feel like I know a lot of you as you feel like you know me. I see. It's neat to, actually so many of you have said to me, if we lived in a clone, I know we'd be friends. I would be so popular <laughs> if you all lived here. I'd have so many friends, it'd be great. Um, hopefully you're not sweaty right there. Cover it if you are and <laughs> just hinge forward here. Uh, that was good. That was hard. And I agree with the girl that said the thing about the shoulders. But again, the thing with compound exercises is that if you're doing a piece for your upper and a piece for your lower, typically speaking, you're going to hit a lot of shoulders, right? Especially in plank and that sort of thing. So don't do shoulders tomorrow for sure. Okay. Um, tomorrow's workout. Uh, we did a lot of abs today too. I might do back and biceps tomorrow, like a an isolated workout like that. Uh, I might do a cardio workout. Uh, what else would I do? I feel like we did quite a bit of chest, so I wouldn't do chest. Yeah, that's what I would do. Um, or maybe yoga. Ooh, I only have one yoga uh, video on my channel. Um, I did it, I don't teach yoga, so I don't, I'm not very good at it, but I did it with uh, a gal named Roz Huber. She's a trainer in town here. So you can Google Tracy Steen yoga flow and it'll come up. Um, it was during our wellness week, I think I did it, but anyway, I like it. I think it's beneficial right here. Stretch your torso, drop those shoulders, but I like a bang for my buck. And I know some types of yoga, like a yoga or anything like that can be quite intense, but I think one day I'll do more of it. They have this yoga, um, they're actually not having it this summer. So that would have been my like token two times in the summer to go to yoga, but it's like a wine and yoga night. Reach up and over, stretch, roll that wrist at um, Cedar Creek Winery up here. But they did a bunch of renovations this last year and I don't think their facility is set for it anymore, but it's a good idea because who doesn't like wine and yoga? <laughs> good combo. You drink the wine after the yoga though, so it's all good. 
And they serve a healthy, healthy dinner there too, so. Okay, hands behind, stretch through the chest, really reach back here. Deep breath in through the nose. Really slow exhale, just press that chest forward. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna tilt my neck again, gently to one side. And the other, oh yeah. Okay, let's just stretch those shoulders out a bit here. So you don't curse me tomorrow. Whew. That was a tough one. But again, you can break that down into multiple different workouts. You could take 10 of the exercises, repeat them three rounds, and you'd have a great little workout as well. Um, you could do cut it in half, do a 30 minute compound. So lots of options I've given you with all that variety. And again, they're all written below so you can see them all. Um, not that you would remember half of them <laughs> because they've got funny names like butterflies and gorillas and such, but what are you going to do? Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. Don't forget to check my Amazon links below for my reading list for the summer. Grab a book that's going to challenge you to walk down the path towards better health a little bit further. All right, see ya in the next workout. And here's a suggestion for tomorrow's workout. Sayonara.